Can you imagine the future of medicine? A world where healthcare is personalized, disease prevention is advanced, and treatment methods are innovative. This isn't merely a dream, but the direction in which we are headed. Medicine for the future refers to evolving healthcare practices, technologies, and treatments that aim to advance medical science beyond our current capabilities. We're talking about the advent of personalized medicine, where treatments are tailored to individual genetic makeup. We're envisioning gene therapies that can correct or replace faulty genes, and immunotherapies that harness the power of our own immune system to fight diseases. We're also looking at innovative approaches to disease prevention and treatment that could transform the way we view health and wellness. This is not just about curing diseases, but also about enhancing human health in ways we've never thought possible. This is the future we strive for, a future where medical science is continuously evolving. Bacteria, these single-celled microorganisms, are everywhere. But did you know they're not all harmful? In fact, bacteria make up a significant part of our world, and even our bodies. They're found in a multitude of environments, from the deepest oceans to the highest mountains, and from the hottest deserts to the coldest tundras. These microscopic entities have a simple structure, lacking a nucleus. But don't let that fool you. They're powerhouses, capable of performing a range of functions. Some bacteria are our allies, aiding in vital processes like digestion and even fighting off harmful microorganisms. However, not all bacteria are friendly. Some can cause diseases, invading our bodies and disrupting normal functions. But remember, these harmful bacteria represent just a fraction of the vast bacterial world. So bacteria can be both friends and foes, depending on their type and location. Understanding them better can lead us to exploit their benefits and combat their harmful effects more effectively. From the bread we eat to the infections we treat, fungi play a significant role. Picture this, an organism so diverse it encompasses a realm of yeasts, molds and mushrooms, all with complex cellular structures. Yes, that's fungi for you. They're real multitaskers playing critical roles in various facets of our lives. Take food production for instance. Ever wondered what makes your bread rise? It's our friendly fungi, yeast, working its magic in the dough. But fungi aren't just about the good stuff. They can play the villain too. Some species can cause infections, from the mild athlete's foot to more serious conditions like histoplasmosis. Fungi, with their Jekyll and Hyde nature, are certainly intriguing, aren't they? They're a testament to the beauty and complexity of life on our planet. Indeed, fungi are more than just mushrooms. They're an essential part of our world. Viruses, tiny yet potent, they hijack our cells and can turn them into disease factories. Unlike bacteria and fungi, viruses are not cells. They are much smaller and simpler, composed of genetic material, either DNA or RNA, encapsulated within a protein coat. This simplicity, however, does not diminish their impact. In fact, it's the very reason they are so effective at causing disease. You see, viruses can't replicate on their own. They need to infect the cells of a living host and use the host's cellular machinery to multiply. This process can disrupt normal cell function, often leading to disease. Some viruses, like the common cold, cause mild symptoms, while others, like Ebola or HIV, can be deadly. Viruses can infect all forms of life, from humans and animals to plants and even bacteria. Despite their size, viruses pose a significant threat to the health of all living organisms. Ever wondered why cheese tastes so tangy or yogurt so sour? Microorganisms are at work. These tiny invisible players have a significant role in shaping our food's taste, texture, and nutritional content. Let's take a closer look. Certain foods undergo a process called fermentation, which is essentially the metabolic process of microorganisms. The bacteria and yeast involved in this process break down sugars and convert them into other substances like alcohol, gases or acids. This is what gives fermented foods their unique and often tangy flavor. Take cheese, for instance. The sharpness of cheddar or the creaminess of brie is all thanks to the activity of specific bacteria during fermentation. Or consider bread. The yeast used in baking is a type of fungus that ferments the dough, making it rise and giving it a fluffy texture. So the next time you savor a slice of sourdough or a piece of pickled cucumber, remember the microorganisms. Without these tiny creatures, our food would lack the flavors we so enjoy. Decomposition, nature's recycling process, is driven by microorganisms. These tiny life forms, including bacteria and fungi, are the unsung heroes of our ecosystems, 
breaking down dead plant and animal material into simpler substances. This process, often referred to as decay, recycles nutrients back into the soil, enriching it and making it fertile for new life to grow. Imagine a fallen tree in a forest. Over time it's broken down by a myriad of microorganisms. Fungi decompose the complex organic compounds, like lignin and cellulose, turning the tree into a nutrient-rich humus. Bacteria on the other hand work on the simpler substances, converting them into forms that plants can readily absorb. Through their tireless work, these microorganisms help to close the nutrient cycle, returning what was once part of a living organism back to the earth, ready to fuel new life. They may be invisible to the naked eye, but microorganisms are crucial in maintaining the balance of life. Microorganisms, while often beneficial, can also be the culprits behind diseases. When these tiny life forms invade host organisms, they disrupt normal physiological functions, leading to disease. Here's how it generally happens. The microorganisms transmit from one host to another via vectors like mosquitoes, or directly through the air, water, or food. The susceptibility of the host plays a significant role in whether the disease will take hold. Factors such as age, genetics, and overall health can make a person more or less susceptible. For instance, someone with a weakened immune system might be more prone to infections than a healthy individual. Speaking of the immune system, it's our primary defense against these invaders. A strong immune response can often prevent or limit the severity of the disease. However, some microorganisms have evolved strategies to evade or suppress the immune response, making them particularly challenging to combat. Understanding these principles is key to preventing and treating infectious diseases. Not just humans and animals, microorganisms can also wreak havoc on plants. You see, plants aren't immune to the impacts of bacteria, fungi, and viruses. These tiny, often unseen culprits can cause a variety of diseases in flora, leading to significant crop damage. Imagine a field of wheat, a farmer's livelihood suddenly wilting under the onslaught of a bacterial infection, or an orchard of apple trees falling victim to a fungal infestation. Such scenarios not only affect the individual farmer, but can have far-reaching consequences on agricultural productivity and our food supply. And it's not just about the here and now. The repercussions of plant diseases can echo throughout time, affecting future crop yields and the sustainability of farming practices. Viral infections in particular can lurk within soil or plant remnants, ready to strike again when conditions are right. Hence, studying these diseases and their management is critical for our food security. As we move forward, understanding and combating these microorganism-induced plant diseases is pivotal in ensuring a healthy and abundant future for all. Louis Pasteur, a name synonymous with food safety, revolutionized our understanding of microorganisms. With an inquisitive mind and a keen interest in the natural world, Louis Pasteur delved into the microscopic realms and forever changed the way we perceive the tiny life forms around us. Pasteur's groundbreaking work in the world of microbiology was instrumental in unveiling the mysterious processes of fermentation and decay. He discovered that these were not spontaneous occurrences, but rather the result of the activity of tiny organisms, microorganisms to be precise. Fermentation, the process that gifts us with delicious bread, beer and cheese, was found to be the handiwork of yeast, a type of fungus. Pasteur revealed that yeast cells feed on sugars, converting them into alcohol and carbon dioxide, thus driving the fermentation process. But his discoveries did not stop at the delights of fermentation. Pasteur also turned his attention to the darker side of microorganisms, decay. He found that specific bacteria were responsible for the spoilage of foods and beverages, a revelation that had far-reaching implications for the food industry. Armed with this knowledge, Pasteur sought to combat these harmful bacteria, and in doing so he developed a method that would bear his name and revolutionize food safety, pasteurization. This process, which involves heating liquids to a specific temperature for a set period, effectively kills off harmful bacteria without significantly altering the taste or nutritional value of the product. Today, the pasteurization process is used worldwide in the dairy industry and has been extended to other food products, including fruit juices, syrups, and wines. It has become an essential step in food production, protecting countless individuals from foodborne illnesses. So the next time you enjoy a glass of milk or a slice of cheese, remember the man behind the science that keeps our food safe. Pasteur's contributions continue to protect our food and beverages, making them safer for consumption.